Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Military Analysis Channel. We should start by saying that aircraft carriers are, by far, the most significant naval military vessels in history. For centuries, when it comes to maritime warfare, navies developed and built different designs for ships. But with the birth of the aircraft, many wanted a combination of these two. That's where the concept of aircraft carriers was born. Numerous steps had been made to have these aircraft carriers in the 21st century. The first vessels of this type were nothing similar to what you see today. The latest and most modern carriers can carry the most lethal carrier-based fighters, the most valuable helicopters, and the most advanced drones. The powerful features of every aircraft carrier are its size, displacement, aircraft, and weapon systems. Based on that, let's see what are the most potent carriers. Chakri Narabet This Thai carrier was the first owned by the Southeast Asia nation. Chakri Narabet can carry up to 30 fixed aircraft and helicopters. Some available options are the AV-8S attack aircraft, the S-70B Seahawk, Sea King, and CH-47 Chinook helicopters. When it comes to defensive armament, we haven't much to say. The eight VLS cells for the Sea Sparrow missiles and the four Vulcan Phalanx close combat weapon systems from the initial plan were never added to the carrier. Cavour Cavour had operated as the flagship of the Italian Navy since 2008, when it first began serving. The light aircraft carrier can carry over 20 aircraft and helicopters, although only limited options are available. For fixed-wing aircraft, there's only Boeing V-8B Harrier 2+, but Italy, from the beginning, wanted V-Stole aircraft, and that's why the country plans to acquire F-35Bs to replace its current aerial fleet. The design of the vessels allows it to transfer tanks and other vehicles, plus hundreds of Marines, up to 325. Sao Paulo With a displacement of 34,000 tons, the Brazilian carrier became the giant ship of the Brazilian Navy in 2000 when it started serving the South American country. From 1963 to 2000, the French Navy owned the boat. The carrier can carry up to 40 aircraft and helicopters, but these are only being used for training. Don't expect much from the offensive weapons on the vessel. Vikramaditya Vikramaditya is the only light carrier of the Indian Navy. It is a refitted cruiser of the Soviet Kiev class. Vikram Raditya started serving in the, in the Indian Navy as recently as 2014. The light carrier can launch up to 30 aircraft and helicopters, while the available options consist of MiG-29KU and MiG-29KUB fighters. Sea Harrier attack aircraft and helicopters like the Ka 31. Charles de Gaulle. The French flagship, Charles de Gaulle, couldn't miss the list. This is the only nuclear powered carrier outside of the United States. Its aerial fleet can consist of up to 40 aircraft and helicopters. The multi-role fighters are, of course, the excellent French Rafale, a feature that makes the carrier fearsome and lethal. There are also early warning aircraft, like the E-2C Skyhawk, and helicopters, like the AS-322 Cougar on the deck. Queen Elizabeth Two Queen Elizabeth aircraft carriers have been produced, with the first delivery in 2009. 
The vessels have a displacement of 65,000 tons, a length of 930 feet, and can carry up to 40 aircraft. Even if the British ships have similar dimensions to the Chinese and Russian carriers, the last two only operate air superiority on their deck. On the contrary, the United Kingdom uses F-35B multi-role fighters. The defensive armament is limited to the Phalanx close weapon system and 30mm naval guns. Shangdong Varyag is the second ship of the Soviet-class Kuznetsov delivered in Ukraine in 1985. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the production of the vessel paused, and the ship was sold to China. The carrier, after many changes, started serving the Chinese Navy in 2012. The new designation was Liaoning. In 2019, another carrier of the same class started serving the Chinese Navy with Shangdong designation. The specific vessel is the only one produced inside the Chinese borders. So Shangdong has a displacement of 64,000 tons, a length of 1,033 feet, and can carry 44 aircraft. A typical option is the J-15 Air Superiority Fighter. The carrier comes armed with defensive short-range weapons. Kuznetsov Class Admiral Kuznetsov started serving in the Russian Navy in 1991. Even smaller than U.S. carriers, it carries powerful defensive weapons. The carrier has a displacement of 60,000 tons, a length of 1,000 feet, and can carry up to 40 aircraft. The vessel carries some defensive weapons, like guided cruise missiles, which allow it to engage with the surface, underwater, and aerial targets. Improved Nimitz Class Ten supercarriers of the class were built, three Nimitz, and seven improved Nimitz vessels. These nuclear carriers have a displacement of 100,000 tons, a length of 1,090 feet, and can carry up to 80 aircraft. Typical options for the aerial fleet are the FA-18EF Super Hornet multi-role fighters, the FA-18C Hornets attack aircraft, etc. The improved Nimitz operates with 60 aircraft and helicopters in standard conditions. But if the situation requires extra aircraft, the vessel can fit up to 130 FA-18 Hornets. These carriers have automatic defense systems that can work against anti-ship guided cruise missiles. Ford Class Ford class is the successor of the Nimitz class of aircraft carriers of the U.S. Navy. These are the most significant military vessels that have ever been built. The ships have the same size and displacement as Nimitz, but feature more automatic and advanced systems. Each carrier has enough space for 85 aircraft, like the F-35BC and FA-18EF Super Hornet multi-role fighter the EA-18G Electronic Warfare, the MH-60R, and the MH-60S Naval Helicopters. It's exciting, and at the same time, a little funny that one aircraft carrier of this class is more potent than the whole Air Force. The defensive weapons of the Ford-class carriers consists of 16 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles for each ship. These weapons are being used against fast and agile incoming anti-ship missiles. Besides that, two launchers with 21 rolling airframe missiles are also being used against anti-ship missiles in the short range. Last but not least, these vessels are equipped with 20mm Phalanx close combat weapon systems. <laughs>